It's amazing what you can do with a motorbike. In this case, selling it would have been a smart option. Why did this Brazilian stunt team take to the road? To play chicken, of course. The rules are simple, and so are the participants. Tá, e chega em cima e cada uma vai para sua direita. E, ao contrário, direita para lá, direita para cá, se daria o contrário. E, só, não, não vou fazer não, cara. Tá louco, tem medo. Right from left. Life from death. Come on, aim for each other. Will the world miss the two Brazilians on their pillions? We say no. It's a big day here in church. The telly's come down, but unfortunately, this is the church of the poison Mike. No, no, we have no more wine, no more bread. No more bread? Isn't this precisely the kind of situation Christianity is designed to deal with? No time to pray for a miracle. The vicar's got to think at his feet. You're gonna have to just pretend that you can, because I've run out. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. And what do we learn from today's lesson? Next time you're feeding the 5,000... Right, no more bread. Make sure you use your loaf. <laughs> Every dangerous sport needs a little light relief. Drag racing's no different. This is Jungle Jim, a comedy car owned by Ernie Walker. One time drag racer, now a man in a monkey suit. We try to entertain folks and uh, we just try to show them a good time. Show biz with us. This will make them laugh. Stupid wheels. The light comes down, it turns green. Three, two, one, and they're off. Who cares if the car's knackered? There's plenty more of those in the scrapyard. Man, look at that. They had put a liquid on the track called VHT, which is a traction enhancer. That's super glue to me and you. And uh, he just grabbed the hole and wham, bam, rear end came out. The wheels may have fallen off his wagon, but the show must go on. We did put on a good show, I guess, but that wasn't the kind of show we really uh, anticipated putting on. Who cares if the wheels have gone one way and the car's gone another? At least we've solved the mystery of Bigfoot. This sprinter thinks he's run away with the race. Perhaps he's unfamiliar with the expression, pride comes before a fall. He may also be unfamiliar with the expression, sprint finish. Maybe the chance of success went to his head to look for his brain. But one thing's for sure, this boy will definitely be positive on his dope test. Welcome aboard the Ship of Fools. These two are Captain Clod and Boson Blockhead. They're playing a daft water sport involving a swimming aid and a more useful kind of boy. No prizes for guessing what's going to happen. Like hair down a plug hole, he's sucked into oblivion. <laughs> it's now turned into an episode of Pest Rescue. <laughs> Next time he plays this silly game, he'd better remember he'll come out looking like a drowned brat. <laughs> This happy couple are celebrating their nuptials by cutting their cake with a machete. Yes, and like the cake, this is going to end in tears. The top tier holds a secret. These beautiful lovebirds. The number one bird takes to the air as required. The number two bird stays behind and does a number two. All you need is Dove. I don't think so. Lowell 
Paul Draper, the Luke Goss of motocross. I don't race anymore. Except for today, when he decides to burn rubber just one more time for the useless hell of it. I felt like I had to get back on the horse and ride it again. Whoa, boy, that's a bike, not a horse. When I got back into it, I think I was already over the hill. Over the hill? Yes, indeed, and over the fence. And suddenly Lowell's head full of lead is turned into a great big demented demolition ball. I did extensive damage to the hood. I broke the windshield, took the mirror off, and scratched his window. Hey, happens. Lowell recognizes he's a liability and calls it quits. My racing days are over. Give him his pipe and his slippers. <laughs> Amateur gymnastics, a sport for big jumpers in small shorts. Not content with the common horse, these athletic geniuses have invented a new discipline, the giraffe. But on this occasion, the equipment lets them down. Next time, keep it simple. Here's a flooded road. Impossible, you say? But this motorist is more of a one-woman arc. She's driving Miss Noah, and she's not doing it particularly well. There's a reason the road's clear tonight, Mrs. It's not a road anymore. That car's going down. It's going down. Now it's down to the fire brigade to rescue the foolish lady. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, she's seen that water, she drove in it. And as the water rises, she reaches for the only thing she understands. The windscreen wipers. That should do it. Or use an axe on her head. And here she comes. A one-eyed, screaming flood witch. She's been snatched from the jaws of death. But is she grateful? Oh my God, they saved my life. Nothing short of pure and simple. Simple, yeah, like you. Stupid, yeah. this is what it was, stupid. You got that right. Time your kangaroo down sport and lead him not into temptation. This proud trainer is telling everyone who cares about the sexual behavior of Australia's favorite. When the subject behind starts to rummage in his own pouch, huh? it's all a big laugh. Would you chuckle if your pet was cracking one out on the lawn? All right, so would I. <laughs> Coming up, the pumpkin bomb becomes the latest weapon of mess destruction. An armless arm wrestle brings down the house. And flaming rubber turns into wheels of fire. People simply don't trust authorities anymore. The weapons of mass destruction. Elvis is still alive, and there are UFOs. We live in an age of conspiracy. Dark secrets. The internet. Chinese whispers on a global scale. Who shot JFK? Did man land on the moon? Diana's death. Marion's suicide. The truth may be out there, but are we getting it? The world's greatest conspiracy theories, followed by Storm, tonight from 7.30 on 5. Bacardi, welcome to the Latin Quarter. Friends. 
Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Out now on PlayStation 2. Certificate 18. To save energy, use just enough water to cover your vegetables. The same applies when taking a bath. Positive Energy from PowerGen. Call the case for hearing. Myers versus God. If God is responsible for the sinking of my boat, the religions are responsible. Your Honour, it is a fraud, a hoax, a swindle. If there was an act of God, then God is liable. So you're suing the church? They cannot exist without each other. Rubbish. Fascinating. The premiere of The Man Who Sued God, 9pm Boxing Day on 5.